GW Smoke Break. We're here at Hall of Flowers. I'm your host, Daniel Montero. It's popping here, man. I just ran into Ted Whitney, sales director for NUG. And man, I want to know how you got into this business, my man. Dude, it was, it was pure luck. Uh, I had a really good friend who was working at NUG, Tyler. He runs our edibles program. And he told me, hey, there's a sales, op uh, sales management opportunity over at NUG. You should go talk to those guys. Went in, talked to them, loved the team. I loved the product that they're putting out. And I was really lucky that I got a chance to hop on board and come work in the industry. And Ted comes from a craft beer background. And I'd like to share with, uh, with our audience, um, what are the similarities between craft cannabis and craft beer? I, th dude, there's so many. Um, the ethos of the industry is very similar. It's a group of very passionate people who are sharing the, the fruits of their labors with people who really care about quality product. And being able to bring that same ethos across uh, and participate in it all over again has been really energy giving for me. Seeing passionate producers get an excellent product out is awesome. One thing that uh, I can say is that craft beer does a great job with providing an experience, whether it's the packaging, the labeling, and when I was at the Rose Collective, a few about a month and a half ago now, I went to the uh, the just, uh, butt tender, and I asked them what's good, and they pointed me to a jar of the Cherry Gorilla. Yeah. And as I was mentioning, man, uh, it was the best bud of any of the jars that we had picked up. It happened to be the last jar, like the sample jar, so it was just one big bud. But I, what I'd like to know is what what's your biggest mover? And you were mentioning um, you're in LA. LA is your, your best market right now. LA is one of our best markets for sure. Uh, SoCal has done really, really well for us. Uh, we've had a killer sales team down there for a long time. I think the brand really resonated with people down there. Um, and we've been embraced like it was a home market, which is pretty awesome for an Oakland-based brand. Exactly, based out of Oakland, but you're getting more love in LA. Can you clarify why you think that is? I think the big thing is uh, we've been consistently delivering product to a market that's had trouble with consistency for a long time. So by being an established brand down there that consistently has excellent looking butt on the shelves, we, we get a better following. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a discriminated consumer and we feel really lucky that we're providing them what they're looking for. Awesome, dude. And what does cannabis culture mean to you, Ted? The cannabis culture is respect. It's respect for the plant, it's respect for each other, um, and respect for the medicine and the gift that we have in this. Man, what a beautiful answer, bro. What do you want the world to know about NUG, the NUG brand? Man, uh, NUG is out there to remove negative stigma from cannabis and provide safe access to recreation and relief for people. We, we want to let people know it's totally fine to go out and light up and enjoy this incredible gift we get from the plant. Uh, let's share that. Let's have fun doing it and let's create an environment where we can have more people su to succeed in the industry. That's awesome, man. What NUG product has the highest velocity, moves the fastest for you? Danny, I'm glad you asked. Uh, right now, it's the NUG Premium Pre-Roll. We have a 99.8% pure THCA diamond infused pre-roll, and people are going nuts for it. Uh, we're rotating the strains, so you can try something new every time, but it's a great way to just give your favorite weed a little bit of an extra kick without altering the flavor. You still get the same kind of terp driven effect. It's just that much stronger with a little bit more THCA. What's the retail on that? Uh, you're gonna see them for around 20 bucks on the shelves in LA. How much are they today? Today, we'll get them to you for 10 bucks. Oh, sweet man, sweet. So pre-rolls are your best movers. Definitely. Um, you know, we get a lot of traction with our flower that represents about 40% of our sales, but we're just seeing a lot of very rapid activity with our pre-rolls. Our chocolates do really well too. Um, but man, I think that the flower consumer looking for convenience is going back to that pre-roll. They love the flavor, they love the experience, they love the aroma. Uh, it, it's a fun thing to bring across. And what strain is your best mover? Premium Jack. That's our flagship. Um, we were cleaning up the genetics, so it was off our shelves for a couple of months. It'll be back in October. And when it launches again, every eighth the Premium Jack we sell in the state of California will plant a tree. So for three months, October, November, and December, we're going to plant trees. We set a goal of planting 15,000 trees, and we need your help. So get out there, smoke an eighth, and you plant a tree. All you have to do is get high. That is, that is rad, man. Right, that is rad. Has, is Nug talking about social consumption? Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. We think it's really important. Um, 
one of the coolest things that happened in the last 15 years for me was seeing people start to bring craft beer in six packs to their friends' houses when they go out just to have a good time. You know, there was a time when that wasn't really socially accepted. That was considered kind of snooty. I want to get to the point where you can bring a six pack of pre-rolls to your friend's house and that's just an accepted host gift. And what a cool thing to get high with your friends, pass something around and, and really just feel that vibe. What's in store for Nug 2020, bro? The biggest thing in 2020 is going to be opening up our retail establishments. We've got a bunch of dispensaries in planning right now. We're really excited to bring that retail experience out. Um, and a lot of new products. We're pioneering in nano encapsulation technology. So we're seeing four minute onsets with uh, uh, nano encapsulated THC. The first product to come out with that is going to be our uh, Nug Free Sickles. It's a fruit puree pop that's been dosed with nano encapsulated THC and CBD. Uh, it's really geared towards that relief factor. Uh, we're going to be doing launch parties both with people looking for recreation and we're bringing a lot of these products out to chemotherapy recovery centers. The guy who came up with this recipe is a two-time cancer survivor and he's passionate about bringing people non-opioid derived relief when they really need it. For the guys and gals out there that want to have a sales position in the industry, a competitive sales position, what, what is your advice to them in, in the cannabis space? Make a decision early on around what you're passionate about and then decide that you're going to be the very best at doing that thing and find the company you want to be part of and just be dead set on your course. And how can the world find Nug, man? It, at Finder Dispensaries Anywhere, you can find us online at Nug.com. We have the Nug Tracker. You can see where we're sold or insist on Nug at your favorite store. Hey, Ted, thank you for this interview, bro. You guys got a fantastic brand. I was thoroughly impressed down in Santa Monica. Appreciate your time, bro. Dude, thanks so much, Danny. Hell yeah.